Hello and welcome all, I apologize for using the computer voice again but I do have a cold and didn't want to deprive you of a video. This is a follow up video related to the recent videos I have released about acquiring games for my 2DS through the marketplace. As many of you know, most them have turned out fairly well and some have hit a dead end on the marketplace. The ones I was able to get were Super Mario 3D Land, Animal Crossing New Leaf and Pokemon Sunday. So what about all those other games that I was trying to get? Well that's what this whole video is about. Let's start with, well they are all Mario games technically so, let's just start with new Super Mario Brothers. So obviously I am not going to pay the crazy price of the game at GameStop or any other retailer for that matter. Heck, even on Amazon the normal price for the game is $38 which is also way too much. But while I am on Amazon I check the used listings for the game. I find a listing by some place called Gamer Girls Online who is listing the game for $18.97 plus $3.98 shipping which puts us at $22.90 I had thought this was the cheapest listing but with that shipping it is not. The leasing right above it has it for $21.99 with free shipping. It is the cartridge only but that is alright because like I told the person I bought New Leaf from, boxes just take up space. So it looks like when I decide to buy new Super Mario Brothers, that is the route I will take. Oh but hold your horses. As much as I have never trusted the site I decide to jump on eBay to say what is on there. I find a listing of the game cartridge only, for $11.95 plus $2.66 shipping which makes it $14.61 and way cheaper than any of the Amazon listing. I think I will, for the sake of saving money, give eBay another try when I decide to buy the game. Now, let's move on to New Super Mario Bros. 2 as it was the second game where I hit a dead end on the marketplace. This game is still $40 at GameStop which makes sense because it is pretty new but I still am not willing to pay that much for it unless I absolutely have to. First we will check the prices on Amazon. On Amazon the cheapest price is $19.95 plus $3.99 shipping and $1.44 TX bringing our total to $25.38. So given that information the actual cheapest price is the $23.97 plus free shipping. Yet again, eBay actually has the best price again. On eBay the cheapest prices I was able to find it for, bearing any bids because I am not the bidding type, is $16.99 plus free shipping. Well, looks like when it come time to buy, this is the way I will go unless I do break down and get this from GameStop for some reason. Next we have Mario Kart DS. Yes, that was the third game that we hit a dead end on. So, at GameStop the price for Mario Kart DS is $25. First let's check Amazon. On Amazon the cheapest price for Mario Kart DS is $13.99 plus free shipping. Oh man, this one was actually really close. We hop over to eBay and find that the cheapest price on eBay is $12.89 plus free shipping. So I guess this is the route I will go assuming that my other eBay purchases go smoothly and I don't get ripped off. And there we have the big follow up video. Most of what I said here will remain to be true unless I do just break down and buy one or two of these games at GameStop which I highly doubt considering their insanely high prices. So that's all I have to say so if you want to add to the conversation leave a comment below. As always, thanks for listening and goodbye.